I have used synthol. I used it, you know, probably 12 years ago, and I didn't like it. You know, it, it 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 blurred my muscles. It made my muscle look weird, and it was incredibly painful. And it's very hard to train. You you're almost guaranteed going to have to take some painkillers while you train because it's so painful. So the whole theory of synthol is you inject it in. It stretches the fascia tissue out, and therefore allows the muscle to grow at a faster rate. So that's the excuse of you know, I'm not cheating. I'm not using cosmetic enhancements. I'm doing this because it's going to make my muscles grow faster. But that's all false. You know, it doesn't do that. And a lot of people, what they don't understand is that when you're injecting oil in your muscle, that oil is blocking the blood flow and the oxygen flow to the muscles. So your muscles are fed and they need to breathe, you know, and they need nutrients brought to them, and you're blocking those cells from getting what they need. So those muscle cells will eventually die off and your muscles will get smaller. But as you're injecting the oil every day, you don't realize that because you just put enough oil to make your arm look a certain way. So you keep doing it and you don't realize the true muscle under there is dying and you're losing that muscle and it'll never come back. You know, once those muscle cells die, it's over. If you're putting a bunch of needles in your bicep, and then you're putting oil in your bicep, you know, that bicep is weak. And you go to train back and you're doing three plate rows, that bicep can tear, you know? So, you know, in my opinion, it's a bad thing. The bodybuilding would be a, a better world if synthol never existed. It would be a million times better.